Hello, all you happy people. Recently, there's been a lot of Backrooms games. Like, a lot. A ton! So much so that it's starting to get annoying, and it doesn't help that they're all the exact same thing. Walk around empty place, run for monsters, do puzzles, and most of the time they're in these PS1 style graphics, which is also really overdone in games now. But in this video, I want to talk about the exception to the rule. The greatest, most terrifying, most immersive, and graphically impressive Backrooms game I know you will ever see, and it's totally free. Links in the description. Before I begin though, like and subscribe or your pancreas is mine. Anyway, on to the video. The game is called The Complex Found Footage, which already is a pretty unique title from the others. It doesn't even have the word back rooms in the title. The game starts up in some sort of facility, a complex, if you will. Ha. <laughs> then we wake up in the back rooms. And that's where the story ends. Literally. That's it. Spoilers, at the end of the game you no clip through the floor and die. To me, that's another win for this game. Very simple, up for interpretation, and doesn't have some sort of crazy convoluted plot about like the lore of the back rooms or like aliens and stuff. Next up is the gameplay. Yet another spoiler warning, the game is a walking simulator. The whole point is exploration, walking through nightmarish, oddly comforting, yet terrifying, liminal dreamscape of doom. There are no puzzles, nothing to flee from even. Probably. I'll get to that in a second. That right there is yet another win for this game. The back rooms are all randomly generated and segmented. How the crap could there be coherent puzzles to get through? I personally don't like puzzles in back rooms games for that very reason, and it kind of contradicts with what the back rooms are all about. And in case you're wondering, yes, there are entities in this game. There most certainly are. Of course there are. They're part of official lore after all, however they don't run up to your face and scream at you. There's no tense running There's no tense running segments where you have to escape from them. Instead, they're utilized sparingly, only occasionally peeking at you from around corners, only to slide back into the shadows where you s- where you, uh... Only to slide back into the shadows when you see them. And that is one of the biggest wins out of any Backrooms game out there. The publisher of the game, Isarl, I think that's how you pronounce his name, obviously knows what makes the backrooms tick. So many other backroom games are what I've already mentioned, your typical run-of-the-mill jump scare simulator. It's boring, and that's what makes this game's horror and atmosphere perfect. The complex is an up-in-your-face, blood-on-the-wall, lunatic in a hockey mask with a chainsaw mask horror. Instead, it plays on your anxiety and the fear of the unknown. It's, psycholo it's psychological horror. Excuse me. The silence in each level is deafening, only the sound of your footsteps to keep you company. When there is a sound, it's close, but by that time you're so used to the silence you're creeped out. Something there? The entire game builds up to a jump scare, but will never give you the satisfaction of seeing it. To the average horror player, if there is no jump scare yet, one has to happen, right? And it never does. You spend the entirety of the game wandering, knowing full well you could or couldn't be being followed by something. Your mind and your own paranoia is what makes this game scary. And I love it for it. Something I've never been too fond of in the backrooms extended lore is all the entities. They just don't they just don't fit. Their appearances and behaviors like the wretches and the skin walk the 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 skin wearers or whatever they're called, you know, the wretches, the death moths, whatever. They're just your their their appearances and behaviors are just your usual monsters, like they're a bunch of failed SCPs that couldn't make it into the wiki dot, so they're just dumped in the backrooms lore and rebranded. Rebranded. The horror of the backrooms is loneliness. Nothing else. Absolutely nothing else. Nothing else but 14 million random segmented rooms and hallways, all filled with stinky moist carpet and yellow wallpaper that could have come straight from your grandma's house. The entity in the complex doesn't really have any distinguishable features. There's just a vaguely humanoid looking shadow. Your mind fills in the blanks. And that perfectly fits with the back rooms. That's what makes this game terrifying. <sighs> now, my criticisms about this game are few and really, really minor. Firstly, your character's walking speed is slower than a 105 year old man with arthritis. You could run, but you use stamina to do so in a hidden bar, and even then you aren't get you ain't getting nowhere in a hurry, pal. 
My second complaint is that the opening level of the lobby, you know, the one with all of the yellow wallpaper and stinky carpet and stuff, is just way too big compared to the other more, in my opinion, more interesting ones. It took me roughly 30 minutes to find the elevator in the lobby, then it took me between 5 and 10 minutes to explore every other level in its, in its entirety. The interesting and famous levels are just too short compared to the lobby. My last and final complaint is that there's this place on the floor where you can no-clip into, and it wasn't really meant to be no-clip through. Like, it's not part of the game, it's not intentional. You fall out of the map and don't die, and you're just falling and falling forever, forcing you to restart the entire game. Yep, no checkpoints. Not at all. Not at all. And... Uh, what else? Yeah, other than those minor gripes that I have, this really is one of the best Backrooms game you can possibly play. Easy to pick up, creepy, unsettling, and the graphics look straight from a Kane Pixels video. It's free too. <coughs> so why not check it out? Anyway, that'll be it for today, guys. See you in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Always helps. I really do appreciate your guys' support. Just. This has always been my dream, and, you know, hey, isn't it everybody's dream to become a YouTuber? Yeah. So, just thanks for that, guys. And if you've made it to the end, and you want to see more content, you know, comment. Because, just comment whatever. Comment, make Moonball is sexy or something. Because, apparently, that helps my video get out to other people, too, who might be interested in this sort of thing. Even just commenting, or even, like, disliking. Please don't dislike my content. Or, I mean, who am I to stop you? Dislike it if you really, really don't like it. But, you know, just any interaction you have with the video helps. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye